What's up YouTube? Today we're going to take a look at Elite Club Pro number 1204, last person to fit in the elevator. And this one is marked as medium. Let's get into it. So this one is a little bit of a brain teaser, just to warn you. We have a table called Q, which contains a person ID, person name, weight, and turn. It's about people answering in an elevator, and we have one entry in this table per person entering the elevator. We have that person's ID, name, their weight and the turn in order of when they're entering. The maximum weight the elevator can hold is 1000 kilograms or pounds, whatever it seems like it's pounds. Our task is to run an escrow query to find the person name of the last person who will fit in the elevator without exceeding the weight limit. It is guaranteed that the person who is first in the queue can fit in the elevator. We could have a table like this with turns from one to six, six people trying to enter the elevator and in this case Thomas Jefferson would be the last person that can enter since first person coming in adds 250 to the weight, second person adds 350 making it 600 and then Thomas Jefferson is making it exactly 1000 and hence is the last person that can enter. Will John Liams is over that weight of 1200 and it's gonna to be too much. Anyway, so I hope that's clear. Let's think about how we can implement this. So for this type of question and seeing that we have turns and their order, a running sum would be something you should think about which basically sums up a certain value, in this case weight up to a certain point or progressive in this case based on turn basically what I just did. So we're gonna, if we sum up weight until turn one, it's gonna be 250. If we sum up weight until turn two, it's gonna be 600. And if we sum up weight until turn three, it's gonna be 1000. We wanna check for that 1000 mark and then get the last person that's in here. Basically, if we can have a new column here that just says running sum or weight until now, then it would be 250, 600, 1000. We will cut off at 1000 and then get the last person in here. If we order that by highest weight, highest running sum, then we can just take that first value using limit maybe. So let's try to do that, but let's start out small by selecting turn. Let's start with turn so we know which person is entering without using person ID since that is not an ordering. can be confusing so it's just to turn. It's already in the right order. So we're going to select turn, trying to get that sum and in order to do that we're going to select from Q of course but in order to calculate that running sum we're gonna self-join here, which is a technique that you can always use when you face this type of problem. Trying to sum up a value up to a certain point, we're gonna self-join another version of the same table on a specific condition, in this case including turn. So let's just write that out and I'll explain it to you. So if a dot turn is greater or equal to b dot turn, it means we're going to join all records of turn in the second table to our first or to our row we're looking at in a that are smaller or equal to that one. Basically, as an example, let's take turn three. We're trying to find a match for turn three here. We're going to match everything that is smaller or equal in that turn. So we're going to join this first row, second and third row again to this third row. And that way we're able to sum up the amount of weight by summing up beta turn. Hope that's clear. We're doing that for the entire table since we don't know it's going to be turn three where we reach a thousand and it's going to be First row is just going to match with itself since no turn is smaller. Second turn is going to match with itself and the first turn and so on. Hope that makes sense. 
you can try running it for your own to, to get a better understanding. But for now, I just want to see if that sum calculation works. I also need to group by turn, a dot turn. It should be more specific here to say I want to sum up all these weights of turns lower than the current one per eight or turn, meaning the row that I'm currently looking at here. So that's the trick and you can apply that to a lot of lead code problems or questions like this one, some containing date, every entries that are prior to this date or every, every prior date in a seven day window, something like this, but you should remember this technique and try to understand it to apply it to these kind of problems. So what do we have here? We have a dot turn, I summed up b dot turn, which is correct, I wanted to do weight, of course, and we should get six entries. It's not ordered, which is inconvenient. Let's order by a dot turn as well. It should be ascending by default, so I'm not gonna write that out. And we have what we wanted here, basically our turn, and then the running sub sum until that point. So it's gonna be 250, 600 and 1,000, 1,200, 1,375, 1,875. We wanna cut off here, as I said, so what we can do is use having, which comes after the group by, and I mentioned this a lot, but having is used to apply filters to aggregate functions. And our aggregate function is the sum of b dot weight here. Basically, we want to check if we look at our output here, we want to limit that to be at, at max, at most, a thousand. So we're gonna use this as we would use a where filter, but we're gonna use have to use having as a keyword here since it's an aggregate function, sum aggregates data. So if that is less than or equal to a thousand, then we're gonna include it in the output. That should reduce our output to only three values here. And that's already quite far here. Now what we want to do is what I mentioned. If we want to get that last value, three and a thousand here, then we can Turn the table around by ordering that by a dot turn descending, so the highest turn number will be on top. I'm gonna reverse the ordering here from ascending to descending. We're gonna have this last possible turn where we haven't reached more than a thousand yet as the first entry. We're gonna have this at the top of our table. And what we can do if we want just one value at the top of our table, we can use the limit one, and it's gonna give us the first value from the output table. And this way, we're gonna get that entry of where we can fit the last person into the elevator. Now, we just need to get the person name in order to complete that problem. So instead of a dot turn, we're gonna select a dot person name. Let's try that right here, see if it runs. It does, we have John Thomas Jefferson, which is in the table twice, that name. It's a bit mean to have it in there twice with two different IDs. But if we submit that, it should be accepted as well, since we based it on the turn number, and that's gonna be accepted. That's pretty much it for the problem. There's another way of doing that whenever you're trying to calculate a running sum or cumulative sum. Maybe I said it wrong throughout the video. I'm gonna have to check. But you can use window functions as well to sum up values up to a certain point and use that in the same way. We're doing that using a self-join here and that greater or equal than condition. But you could use it, could do it using window functions, which is another way of solving it. Anyways, that's been it for this problem. Hope I'm gonna see you in one of the next videos. I have playlists on each lead code difficulty and 
videos in there are going to be just like this one. If you want to check out more mediums, check out the medium playlist here on YouTube. And I also set up a Fiverr page where you can book specific coaching or interview sessions with me. I can also take a look at your resume there. And apart from that, make sure to stick to the channel to see new videos coming out or subscribe if you don't want to miss anything. See you all in the next video, hopefully. Bye.